<laughs> you know what they don't teach anymore is geography, guys. They don't teach geography <laughs> at schools anymore. Listen, whenever I see Smash Twitter geography tweets, oh my gosh. Anyway, we stay into game one here. Nico is going with his secondary Violet. Yeah. And uh, Adam Leo is going with Mega Man. It, it, all, it all depends on like uh, how Nico feels sometimes in some matchups. It, it's like, it's all up to him. He's been doing tremendously well with Byleth. I think, like he talked about how like, a lot of people thought the character may have been low tier, but the character's pretty high tier. Uh, and I agree with the stats, but when you yeah. put the character aside here and see how he does when you're playing man, it's all up to Nico's patience and also full understanding of his MMO. This would be like a matchup that he could like clean the house against Mega Man with like perfect like mid-range right. spacing, but we'll see how he can handle it with Byleth. MMO didn't get the, um, the side beats close to the land. No, 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 yeah, yeah. So sometimes Mega Man will set up Crash Bomb even right. at the ledge because if your opponent tries to edge guard you, it could it could hit your opponent or if you manage to miss barely miss the ledge, yeah. you can get another jump. Oh yeah. He just he 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 shot at it and it didn't like stick to ledge. I was surprised. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be a little more precise, I guess, than I thought. There we go, yeah. The game's not quite as generous. I think as that. I think it's depending on the slant of where you're hitting. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So I guess the the strategy is to ban Kalos against Mega Man so he doesn't get that free all the time. Yeah. Actually, even against Violet, because Violet does have a wall jump, too. Gotcha. So she can come back from the depths. Ooh. Oh, nice. Setting up that arrow shot. Doesn't clean that MMO. Oh. Neutral get up. Tough situation there. Time I, the F smash. I think he wanted to shield it, but he was all, like lost at the last second. Yeah. It's tough to know when you have the frames to be able to pull that off, too. Yeah. Oh. Never forget, folks, frames are like 1 60th of a second. So. And then Leo right now is just overwhelming right now with his options. Up here. Back throw. Nice. Oh, I saw Lee kind of leaning on the chair. He knows, hold up. Victory is slowly escaping my hands if I just let up. See, that up air would have been a nice situation had he called out the jump from Emma Leo, but Emma Leo is not going to jump from this damage. Ooh. I don't know if I'm on Leo, man. I want that one step. I want that one shot closer to getting into the PR. Yep. Or tilt gets him. Uh, Four tilt's really good. Uh, uh, kills, combo ender usually, and occasionally like a small. It's not even a burst combo. It's more of a combo ender. You can actually end off of neutral air, or just kill an opponent outright. And it's good to like guard the ledge as well. Down tilt. Oh, it misses the nair follow up. Mm -hmm. Follow ups oh, like that. <laughs> just F smash twice in a row. Yeah, oh, watch oh, out! Watch yeah, out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not enough this time. Oh, let's see, Bios. Speed right there is just slightly not letting Nico be able to extend that dance speed. And he just eats another F Smash punish. Nico's now down to his last stock here in game one. It might be the kind of case where Nico kind of like just tries to get a little more information about what sequences MM Whale likes to try to use in game two. But let's see if he'll try to pull it off here. Use the leaf shield. Be able to get through that last pellet, one pellet. Nail there. Forward throw back air. Oh no, Ooh. the time goes for forward air. Oh wow. Good parry. Nice. Nico understood the range of the oh. down tilt. Down tilt upper is a kill confirm and at certain percent. A lesser kill. violet would like panic air dodge at this stage. Right oh, yeah. Right there. I think about Mega Man 2 is like because of his weight, the kill percent and which he can do down tilt up air might be different. Nope. Glad trap situation here and they just trade. He wanted to call the jump because of the way he had handled the ground would and he would have caused MMO to jump. Oh, he barely oh. got away. Oh. Nope. <laughs> I'm surprised why Nico went for the up smash there. Maybe that was just a uh, bad mis mm. down smash. Bit of both. If Mega Man had jumped with back air yeah. at the situation, or if he had caught MM Leo rolling, the front hit of up smash scoops you up the top hit. So that would have actually killed. Oh, because it would have scooped him up? Mm -hmm. gotcha. The front hit. Only only the front hit. Alright, 95. Nico can bring this back. Has to play a little bit slow here. I mean, MM Leo, we saw him play against Nitro last week. He's not afraid to run out the time. Oh, nice. It's that leaf shield kind of like falling in midair. Now it's the advanced situation here. Oh, barely fell out. Okay. Oh, oh so spot dodge up smash. <laughs> that was really good from MM Leo, but like for Nico, he had the frame and the opportunity in which you get Nair to forward. Sorry, Nair to dash attack. It's kind of narrow. You either get it or you don't, and there is no like four or five frames you can get. It's just like really narrow, so you have to get it right. If not, your opponent can't spot dodge. Nico had the right mind, but he was just a tad too late. Yeah, that would have worked. I was saying this. This is definitely a struggle matchup. Like he, he could clean house in the mid range, in which Mega Man would love to play at. Right. And that's one thing where Shulk accelerates. So not only that, having the Monado Arts definitely change up the pace. 
having speed to be able to rush down a Mega Man and having a shield to obviously hold it for. All right, well, this time Nico opting to play a little bit on the neutral here, just a little bit. See if he can finally get in. Shield. Back air. Every now and then I would question why does Nico go into shield arc to get out of a combo when he can use it to save himself. But if you think about it at early percents, uh, it doesn't really matter to him. It matters because he'll get shield art within 18 seconds. Yep. I've never really ever watched Nico play Shulk and wondered why he was going for certain arts. I stopped asking why and I just like, you know what, it works. <laughs> <laughs> he makes it work and I stopped questioning it. But I, I slowly understand. See, the way he was playing neutral was really, really smart. He knew what, what opportunity MMLA was going to make the mistake and look at how quickly he had closed the gap between now. He was at 54, and MMLeo had the so lead, and he was sitting really he's comfortable. He's keeping MMLeo up there for a little while. Yeah. Juggling him. But also, like, his ability to just kind of play a little bit of the neutral there and just move around and MMLeo and say, okay, you want to get comfortable with a projectile war, I can close the gap within the snap of a finger just like that and, and put you off the stage there, like that. Bro. Yep. It's on you. Nico's faith in Schultz's ability to just extend and get that left, that final fair off stage. Oh, he's practicing. Like, like there's no tomorrow. There's a thing he calls the Nico special, where he just jumps out of the stage back and forth until he forces you to pick an option, yeah. and he'll counter you with a forward air. Jump art. Yep, and he can dip extra low with that, and he can jump yeah. over his opponent with that with Basic 23%. Basic paper to manage that F smash. Yeah, which is what I'm saying. Like, this is definitely, like, I, was, I appreciate the pilot. It was really close. But, like, Shulk would just clean up house. Why give your opponent the opportunity? Aaron Leo was really forced to play so defensively in this matchup, too. It's just... But also, like, Shulk can play around Mega Man's mid-range because he's one of the few characters that can break in and out of it. Oh, nice. Neutral he would have caught M.M. Leo a little bit at the ledge. The stories in, in Smash history have always been, like, zone breakers anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Shulk kind of sits himself, like, within that really weird position to not necessarily be a zone breaker, but to be a character that, like, accelerates in the mid-range, but also destroys anybody in the mid-range. Like, <laughs> that was a just hell Mary. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was interesting, but it would have caught, if Nico had gone for a neutral air, which Evan Leo, like, sees himself the ledge, and he's already seen Nico go for it, it would have, like, definitely caught him off guard. Oh. Catch that with our smash down equal to two stocks, but man, is Nico put a lot of extra credit on it on the layout so far. Yeah, 116. Literally yeah. a backer away. We'll Leaf shield. Leaf <laughs> shield all the way through it. Yep. Backer does it. And the reason why backer is like really, really good at that position is because like the range there in which he can use it is good enough to be spaced away from Mega Man to like avoid a punish, but also enough damage where like he can just connect it. So it's really good. That stock also showed why everybody should be practicing how to use items, no matter what character you play. Just thinking about that last stock for the opening by you know, shield Metal off. Blade. Yeah, Metal Blade's off. Also at that range, it was a pretty good punish. Like, it's, he knows, like, MM Leo is still at the ledge. I have no reason to make an over, overzealous approach. Exactly. Does shield uh, drastically affect the impact of fair by Mighty Man? Uh, yes. You become uh, basically the heaviest character in the game, yeah. so you're getting hit by up air is like literally easy. But also, shield, the more damage you take while in shield, the faster you lose it. Very similar to our side. You also get more shield health, and yeah, you're like the heavy. Yeah, oh you're, God. Yeah. <laughs> you're basically like, this is like the, the way that Nico uses it, we just call it like the anime protagonist, like... <laughs> the plot device. Yeah, the plot device of the anime <laughs> protagonist. Legitimately like, my friends are my power, and you just activate some shield art. Oh. So you threw a hitbox out there against Crash Bomb and managed to destroy it, too. That was really good. Yeah. Reaction. See how easy it is to get hit by it now? That yeah. Like One of the tough things about fighting Mighty Man is when Lemon will actually cause hit stun and when it won't. So Especially depending on your character weight too, so it'll like really screw with what your approach options. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Your reaction it, options. Are the same. best way I try to tell people is the closer you are to pellets, the more knockback they will do. So if that's what I'm saying, like against Mega Man, like yes. Shulk just breaks the <laughs> breaks the mid range, but he can play it very, very well. So he has nothing to fear. Fourth throw. Nice. Oh, oh, mash out. Really good stuff from Mega Man. They didn't want to get caught by that. Here's your job. Yo, this is legit. If MM Leo gets his combo, oh, I was gonna say, if he got the combo there, it would've been nice. Would've put, uh, he goes slowly. Things are looking pretty dire for MM Leo right now. 
see if Gahun said they were even at that. Was good. That was good. That was good. But unfortunately, oh, wow. that cost on the stock. It was good because he waited as he should have, but the fact that he already set up Crash Bomber, popped him up at a 45 degree angle in which it sends you, was yeah. perfect for Shulk to connect forward air. So it was like. As they say, hoisted by his own petard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah. See, we're gonna go to a battlefield variant? Or, no, never mind. Oh, wait. Looks like it. We're gonna go pitch or shit? <laughs> Maybe Mario Maker FD? I uh, know, Pitcher Chat FD. All right. And the Me Gunner is coming out. Yeah. Um, it, it all depends on, like, what. I feel like I don't know MMO personally, but from what I've seen, it depends on how comfortable he feels in the matchup. The one thing that Me Gunner does pretty well over some characters, depending on the set that you're using, he does really well in like a, the keep away game. Absolutely. And he's able to punish opponents oh. for that. No, he's good, he's good, he's good. That was very close though. <laughs> the second hit of Air Slash puts Shulk forward a little bit, but also like he's able to grab from below. I wish it was the way for my character. <laughs> You hate to see it, man. Uh, we are, all, all, every character is privileged, unfortunately. <laughs> That's what I told you, man. You missed an era of Smash 4 Sheik where we just watched it be privileged. Everyone was like, Sheik is so sick. I was like, mm, I love That's getting cool. out frames. So I do love we know it. what uh, special setup MMLA likes to use with Gunner? Um, I don't know the particular numbers. I just know he likes to go for the drop bomb, the silent, the, I forgot what the name oh, like si Silent very, Burst? Yeah, it was silent very, burst. Like, hard to see. Uh, yeah. The, so that's Samus's down B, which is the drop bomb, the silent yeah. burst. There we go. Right and there. then Falco laser, and then up B, which is the jet, the, the jet one. So not opting for the uh, ZSS. No, no, Gunner doesn't have the ZSS. Right now. No, right. only only Brawler does. Right. Oh, that was nice. Roll that was there. good. He waited too. He waited to see if he can actually hit it. That was good. He hit him with neutral air, and that's not the up smash. That's what MK Leo was. I'm sorry, MM Leo was hitting for. Already down stock here in game three, but. That was good. If he had cut the forward, I would have killed him, but I don't know if I would have Oh, oh. yeah, with the, the silent. So, <laughs> what makes it so hard to see is that, like, it's just a small little light in the background, but you can actually catch it. In this stage, uh, it can be difficult to see. Right. Actually, a lot of people may not know that. So, I kind of <laughs> wonder. Nico doesn't know that, so, like, that's. Kind of like MMLeo's advantage. He not right. only gets the song like choice, but also the fact that like it's really difficult to see the stage. Nice. Like snakes, here. like snakes C4 on some stages, it becomes difficult to see. Absolutely. Ooh, that's that was good. That was good. Switch the shield. Anyway, yeah, protagonist, but. Nice back air there from Nico. It's really hard for MMLeo in this matchup because like. For every second he wastes, Nico gets one more aerial. <laughs> so it, it's like kind of like if you want to jump, jump, but just know there's already something in your face. Right. But MMLL is like doing a pretty solid job of like keeping cautiously away with that wall. The gunner, the stock, gunner yeah. up, it, up air is also a really great device. Too. Oh, yeah. So he's trying to catch Nico slightly coming in with his aerial, but it's just not working. Nico has to kind of mix up his timing on his aerials here to kind of get in. And I like it, too. He's, he knows, I got 62%, my friend. You can stay at the ledge all you want. I'm bringing it closer to you, but... As long as he uh, manages to avoid any hit from it initially. The space, his responses. There we go. Oh, yeah. wow, that was a great up there, man. Leo, though. It's a trade. Ledge trap situation here for Nico. Oh, oh, it almost gets the to, to put a exclamation point right there. I'm gonna smash our gets back on stage. Nice dash attack. Oh, nice. He waited. He waited. He waited. Emilio is not panicking. This advantage right now. He may be down to his last stock, but he's gonna go down quite. Oh, close. Back throw. Yep. Set to the silent strike. Nico saved that jump for the last second, and he's able. I like that. The minute he gets off the ledge, switches in the shield because he saw the up air coming. Fourth throw. Yep. Wait for it. Oh, he wanted MMLeo to go low. Good stuff to MMLeo, though. He's still keeping up the fight. I mean, at this opportunity, if he tries to. Even though he knows he's behind, the gameplay, he, he has to keep it up because he knows if the minute he overcommits, yes. there is so much he's going to lose. Ooh. Punches that grab attempt. 
Nice. This kind of setup that I see with MM Leo is very much, if I'm winning, I'm winning a lot, but if I'm losing, I am losing a lot. Absolutely. Such a setup intensive character, too. Oh, there we go. Yep. Catches him with I'm the telling you. Yeah, well, greedy. Yeah. Ooh. It lasts for about six seconds, the shortest lasting Minato art, but it's also like 18 second recharge time. Nice. Back throw. Might actually do it. No, not yet. Shulk is still surviving at 174. Oh, he catches oh. him. The, the Samus down B. Yep. Yeah, up smash. He immediately pulls up his shield out right there to reduce that. Knock back. Oh. It's not out of the cards yet for MM Leo, but oh, unfortunately. No. <laughs> I'm saying, like, Nico, he's been mixing up his jumps. He's been doing a really good job of, like, double jumps.